Hi, this is Sally Jo with Barf, and I'm featuring the 125 reef tank that I decorated for Leroy a week ago. And it's really, really showing off right now. It's just gorgeous. One of the most important things I do every single day after I wake up is I go out and I check my tanks. I always look at my zinnias to see if there's enough water movement, if they're not happy, if they're not pulsing. They're really a good indicator that, that something in the tank is wrong. And usually it could be heat or it could be water movement. It could be Sikhemri Plus. It could be a whole lot of But if you look right here, this is a woods pollock. One of my favorite, favorite guys. And although he's very happy and his pollocks are out very a lot, it's not the best look for this woods pollock. He's telling me that we need more water flow. Here, isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous zoanthid? Big, giant zoanthid. Great color. And it's happy. Just a little bit more water flow in this area is really, really important. That's just a gorgeous, gorgeous animal right there. Until I was feeding, because some of them are closed up because they just finished eating. And this scene is telling me too. It just it, it it's not pulsing the way I like it. It's just not enough water flow. Time to turn up the power head. Everybody else is really, really happy and doing really, really well. And it's not that they're not doing well. It's just that they could do a lot better with more water movement. I'm really, really happy with the overall look of this tank and the overall health of this tank. But I am constantly putting my hands in there making sure that all power heads are working. They do this, honestly, they get clogged up from time to time and they just need your hand to get in there and unclog them so that the water flow is supposed to be where the rate it's supposed to be. And even if you check it one week, you gotta check it the next week. You have to continually, continually do maintenance on your tank. There's little things like the water changes and 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 the supplements that you do on a on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly basis. But looking at your tank, just looking at it, look at the animals will tell you so much day to day. And don't be afraid to stick your hand in your tank. It's one of the most important maintenance tools that you have. 